Looking for a mid-journey alternative where you can use Flux Dev and SDXL online? Well, look no further. Today's sponsor, CG Dream, can do exactly that. It's an online image generator service that offers features like generating images with Flux or to render cool AI art from a 3D model. It offers very cool image filters and you can upscale images and also impaint them. As a free user, you get 3000 monthly credits. Due to server optimizations, you can get double the credits for the same money at the moment. So, but what can it actually do? After you sign up and log in, the first thing you see is the gallery where users can post their amazing creations. If you see an image you like, you can use it as a base for your own creation. Just click on it and it will show you the prompt as well the used filters and all the settings will be the same. Let's change it for example from woman to woman in a wizard rope standing under a brilliant sky. Also let's get rid of the fairy tale filter and the bioluminescence instead let's choose our own filter yeah why not just picking this woman fantasy and also fantasy dragons or no not fantasy dragons let's use alien worlds but we are going to reduce the slider here to 0.5 also a little less psychedelic and yeah, the rest should be okay. Down here, you can see the generation cost. Also, if you click it, it will generate the image. I click it now. This is incredible. I like it even more than the original image. The rendering took about 10 seconds, which is quite fast compared to other online services, but that depends on time of day and how big the workload is. Let's go about the settings here real quick. So you can select the image size. If you want a wallpaper, for example, you need to pick 16 by nine. You can say the number of variations you want. Uh, it's, it gets slightly cheaper if you are using uh, more renderings, but it's not that big of an impact, to be honest. So the prompt guidance can only be changed if you're switching to Juggernaut XL instead of Flux. This is the only SDXL model they offer, but Juggernaut is extremely good. With the XDSL model, you can say, I only want to render a draft when you're experimenting with prompts. This is good to save you some credits. Also, Juggernaut XL is the model where you can type in a negative prompt. So you could type short hair, for example, if you want to avoid images like this. So we're going to switch it back to Flux for now. Also, if you don't have an idea, you can use this here. This will dream up an idea for you. So let's start real simple here image of a female druid let's generate two images here in two by three and then click this button here i actually forgot to turn off these two here let's render it again decrease this even further and also let's remove the psychedelic part here and i generate another two images uh, again, two amazing images. So now I want to upscale this. I can do it by hovering over here and click the X2 button. It will cost 15.8 credits. It upscaled our image. You can switch between the original and the upscaled version by clicking down here. So it may seem subtle, but if you download both images, you can compare them directly. Here you can see it better. The left image is a lot more pixelated and here it's a lot softer and has a lot more details included into the image. Important word on prompting here. As you can see, Flux uses a more natural language. For amazing images in SDXL, you need a more keyword style prompt. I made this one here in Juggernaut XL and you use a lot more keyword style. One feature I absolutely love is generating images from 3D models. So click up here 
And here, let's search, for example, for animal. So now we pick a model that we like. How about this Ginny pick here? CG Dream as loading a 3D model viewer. Now we can drag it and move it in an angle that we want. This will be our final image angle. So let's make it like this. And I can say the 3D model strength is 0.7. A higher strength will orient more on the model and a lower strength less. Okay, so how about cyber hamster? I know it's not a hamster. Cyber hamster is attacking city. The hamster is angry and shooting lasers from his eyes. So let's add a filter here. How about cyber? Okay, looks like no cyberpunk. How about some horror elements then? Robot and yeah, I don't know about alien. Let's use electricity abstract here and decrease this. Robot decrease also. Horror, yeah, let's, let's try it like this. So for now, let's try to generate it like this. Okay, this is a good start, but let's decrease the strength of the model a little bit. And also let's get inspired this time and try again. Ah yeah, that's quite an improvement. So how about we upscale it once more? Ah, this upscale makes it perfect. I love it. Also, you can join the very active and steadily growing Discord community of CG Dream. What if you generated an amazing image like this, but then you want to change the hair color, for example? No problem, just click the in paint button down here. Now we need to paint over the hair. We can increase the brush size up here, and then we paint it over with a little bit of the face. It should work as well. And this can take quite some time. So you can decrease the brush size anytime you want. Absolutely no problem. Okay. Down here in the prompt box, we have to describe what we want. I say red hair. And yeah, let's inpaint it. Look at this before and after comparison. It's amazing. I already put a lot of time in CG Dream and it's so fun to see what people come up with. So may it be a cool image or sometimes it's just a funny image you haven't expected. I really love CG Dream and I don't say this just because they sponsored this video. Thanks again for this, by the way. The team behind it rolls out new features very frequently. Also, I think it's the online tool that I've created the most images with. I hope you have fun too. Now all you have to do is click the link below the video.